first watched the video, then let me know how you feel in the comments. Wake up, America. Now, as a veteran of many years in American politics, I'm going to tell you something somewhat shocking. Joe Biden will not be the nominee of the Democratic Party in 2024. Kamala Harris will briefly become president, but the only way in their party they can replace a woman of color is with another woman of color. And yes, you heard it here first, the Democratic nominee for president will be Michelle Obama. They have already rigged their primaries. The reason that they have canceled the Iowa caucuses in the New Hampshire primary is to put South Carolina, a state where a majority of the Democratic primaries are Afri primary voters are African Americans, and they will allow Gavin Newsom to purchase the vice presidential nomination, but the Obamas will hold him up for six or eight hundred million dollars to do so. You heard it here first. When Steve Bannon says it in three weeks, remember I said it first. Way, bro. What the fuck? Am I tripping? Bro, you ain't tripping, bro. There's a fucking grid in the sky, bro. What? Bro, this cloud is literally rolling in. With a fucking grid in the sky, bro. What the fuck? What? Oh my god. That is crazy. That's no fun. European. They asked the question, where did the white man come from? So I know um, brother, brother said he said, you know, the white man was something different. And a lot of people say that. And, and they got to, you know, that's cool. People should feel like that. But here's the thing. The white man is a degenerate, deviant, homo sapien sapien, same species that we are. Let me, let me, let, and this, this is what science says. Show and prove is, when you mix a lion with a tiger, you get a liger, right? Yes. Now, we understand the Panthea family, both of the families that they come from, the feline family, but they're different subspecies. A male liger can't reproduce. He's sterile. Mighty conjure an egg like a donkey, right? Now, when a white man breed with a black woman, or a black woman breed, or a black man breed with a white woman, look at Obama. He's not sterile. That shows that they're not a separate species. They have 46 chromosomes just like us, but at the demi level, this is where you find the difference between us and them. They have a high level of what we refer to as um, SARA, which is a high level of depression, which makes them more violent, brutal, and more, and more fucked up. That's why they act the way they act. That's a gene. That's a gene variant. That's the SARA gene we're talking about. Also, high at a higher level. And also people that's been prone to war. That's right. Also, SLC2485, sodium potassium exchange of 55, which gives them pale skin. That developed in Central Asia. Also, Edelocus, ectoplasma receptor, which gives them their straight hair. So they are the same species as us, but they're degenerate. Also, Three to four percent of their DNA, which in the human leukoantigen, which is their immunity, is Neanderthal. You can tell because they're able to deal with the cold weather from the high level of creatine in their skin, the, the thick texture of their skin to deal with cold weather. You, you can do something like that. They're mutants. I give them mutants. Here's another thing. They also have, when you break it down at the demi level, that four percent stretches out at seventy percent of their skin. So they are the same species. They're just degenerate. Yep. If they wasn't the same species, we wouldn't be able to reproduce. And like people like Obama, Lenny Kravitz, all these cats would be sterile like the lighter. That's what makes them the same species. They're just degenerates. They're mutants. Thus, they mix with archaic humans like Neanderthal, which gives them a high level of osteoporosis, uh, autoimmunity disorders, certain types of lupuses, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. White people are, have, are more prone with type 1 diabetes being born with it and then black people catching type 2 from eating high carbs, sugar, and all that other crap. White people have more levels of type 1 diabetes than anybody because of the Neanderthal gene. You can look this up. They're also trying, they, they're addicted, they get addicted to shit quick. That addiction is due to the Neanderthal gene variant because Neanderthals were very mimicky. They were, they were, they were kind of like, they, they Fox P2 genes was fucked up. No, they would have grown up a chromosome 7. So they are like, a, they are humans, but we all have a difference between us. The levels of melanin is not your melanin like ours, it's fail melanin. And it, it's fail, and it's called spurs. It's one cell away from albinism. SLC2485 is one cell away from albinism. OCA2 or HERC2, octanitanian strand 2, which gives them blue eyes, show the degeneracy of what they come from. So they are mutants that come out of Central Asia that went into Europe. That's what the European come from.
Our government has gone on record confirming aliens exist. We've recovered their bodies. We've recovered their spacecraft. We have their technology. We've even been in contact with them and nobody cares. And I keep seeing all this commentary on it, you know, like they, the government said aliens exist and no one gives a shit. But have we considered that maybe this was by design? Because I don't know if y'all remember, but the whole time this conspiracy has been going on and all these whistleblowers have come out and said, oh, the, the government is hiding this stuff from you. And we've been asking why. Why are they hiding it? Just tell us. And they said the government doesn't want you to know because they're afraid the society is going to descend into chaos and mass hysteria. And that's why they won't tell you. We're already there. The society has already descended into chaos and mass hysteria. We're fucking fighting over Bud Light and the Barbie movie and whether or not drag queens can read books to children. How much further can we go? We can't get any worse than this. We're at society's rock bottom. This is the perfect time to just drop this information on us. It's just a drop in the water at this point. It's like throwing a Molotov cocktail into a nuclear explosion. Of course no one cares. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference when the most immediate threat to us is whether or not we're going to have a roof over our head or we're going to get gunned down by a Nazi. I'm out here fighting for my life and here's my government like, oh, by the way, aliens are a thing. Okay, can I convert that into cold hard cash so I can pay my rent and feed my family because otherwise I don't give a fuck. You know, they looked around at society and they were like, all right, so everybody's either homeless or can't pay their rent. They're starving. They're all broke. No one's got any money because the rich hoarded it all. They're depressed, anxious, hopped up on medication. They hate each other because of culture wars that we fabricated. There's social injustice and oppression everywhere. Everyone's fucking dying. The world is on fire. Hey there, American citizen. I see you getting your ass kicked over there, but I've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. I don't care! Let's just... Aliens. There you go. <laughs> you cannot tell me that this timing was not planned this way. If this news of the existence of aliens has got you excited, it's because you have privilege. Plain and simple. It, you have the privilege of being able to be excited about this because you're not worried about where your next meal is going to come from. And don't get me wrong, I'm excited as fuck about this. It's got my head in a, in a tailspin. My gears are grinding. I want to know everything there's to know about it, but it's because I'm privileged. I don't, I, I'm not in survival mode. So if you are out there just trying to get through each and every day, one day at a time, it makes sense that you don't give a fuck about this. It does not affect your day to day life. I get it. But I'm just telling you that I know our government dropped this news at this time strategically because of the fact that most of society is just trying to survive. Hey y'all, check out what the fuck Jalen Brown just said on national TV. Nobody peeped this. Nobody. Hold on, Blue. Hey Jalen, what do you plan to do with the generational wealth? I mean, what do you plan to do Listen to on, the, on the floor with this new contract? Well, that's a great question. I want to launch a project to bring um, Black Wall Street here to Boston. I want to attack the wealth disparity here. Um, I think there's analytics that supports that, you know, stimulating the wealth gap could actually be something that could be better meant for the entire economy. With the biggest financial deal in NBA history, it makes sense to talk about one, your investment in community, but two, also, you know, the wealth disparity here that nobody wants to talk about is top five in the U.S. Who it's talking like, like that, bro? In the NBA, in entertainment, who talking like that? Nobody. You think I'm saying the word nigga to degrade my people? I say the word nigga because y'all taught my people that. Y'all programmed them with that name. So if I say, hey, God, they don't even gonna turn their motherfucking head. They don't know their name. So I'ma say nigga to make sure they know I'm talking to them. And I'ma still say God and God so the ones that's vibrating high can know I'm talking to them. It's Ricardo. And to the human beings that's vibrating high, they understand what I'm doing. I gotta wake my people up so that they can even see that your ass ain't the enemy and that it's other white people that's the enemy. I'm here to help the collective consciousness. I'm only pushing peace. But I'm willing to war about that peace. I'm willing to die for my peace. For me, my family, my, I'm talking my cosmic family. That's every single black person on the motherfucking planet and Latino person. First, then, then my animals, the ants, the bees, the, wa the wasp, the elephants, the alligators, they get the snakes. Then it's nature, the elements, fire, water, Earth, Kai, wind, 
All of these things that these motherfucking reptilians, or if you want to call them the deep state, the cabal, the Vatican, the 13 families, all them bitches is working with the draconian reptilians and the Pleiadians. Okay? Those are the oppressors who are oppressing us on every level. Town. This is the, this is the town? Yeah. It's a uh, black Seminoles? Yeah. You're a Seminole Indian black, right? Yeah. Okay, so why did it go back that way? Yeah, I mean, where are you coming? Just... Okay. Amazing to see this. Uh, really nice. Wow, guys, check it out, man. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Wow. Check out her brother, man. Wow. <laughs> you see, like the Florida Seminoles that are there now, that's not original Florida Seminoles. Gotcha. Okay, that's why if you look at the Caribbeans, they have Seminoles there too. Because black people are already here, bro. So okay. it's, yeah. So you tell me, if you look at history, yeah, they they uh, put down like when they brought all the Germans, uh, people like they, they brought, don't yeah, yeah, exactly, far, but they don't, yeah, exactly. But okay, where's ours? If y'all brought so many slaves over here, then where's that at? Because it's a lot. Right. You didn't bring nobody over here. Yeah, you brought a couple of them. I think it was like four or five percent. You know what I mean? But you didn't bring none that you say now, like what they do in America, the infrastructure of slavery was for them to win, to, for them to be able to gain. You know what I mean? Because they couldn't gain over us. So those seminal wars were all over that because of what, what had already transpired in Africa. But when they came over here, the, the blacks were like, no, y'all know this, that y'all, we were never slaves to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So they fought. They had like three seminal wars in Florida, won all of them. They don't say that in history. They they went to Oklahoma because they say, all right, cool, they're going to be here in Oklahoma. The black Seminoles never were uh, satisfied because they said, okay, we're here 10 years, and the United States government tried to take them back into slavery. Yeah, yeah, like try to. So they came down, you know, and they were here in Brackett, what is the real Pecos River, all that. So the Kikapu, and this is even bringing in the Kikapu, but the Kikapu were getting killed by the, the Apache, Comanche, and all that. So. The, 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 the chief from the Kikapoo came and told the, the black chief, the ones that weren't. <laughs> In Revelation, they say that the fires will come down from heaven to destroy the system. What if I tell you that them fires is nothing but the rays of the sun? And these rays of the sun is going to come down from heaven and destroy their system. It'll also bring an end to those that are not people of the sun, which will cause them to go underground. Now, I want y'all to know that they want to cause something cataclysmic, something catastrophic to happen on the surface. So us, the melanated beings, will have to go underground with them. So they can continue to run things the way they were. All right. They have to return back to the caves, back to the caves. The moon cycle is over. It is the sun cycle, meaning that the earth is the closest to the sun. But this is revelation. This happened before bringing in a new world, new earth. I told you about this church a few weeks ago. Let, let me see what they, they said. <laughs> what, what is wrong with them, bro? The days are over. White people stealing, hauling property, putting black people in shelters. The big, I mean, they, I mean, I mean, they not wrong. They not wrong. Get this transmission out to you. See, the only way you're going to win the fight against the heat and the sun is if you stay your ass in the house. That's the only way. Come out when that motherfucker gone. That's the only way. But other than that, you is not gonna win. I'm gonna tell you why though. It's a reason you ain't gonna win. It's a reason you gonna faint. It's a reason you gonna have a heat stroke. It's gonna be a reason your ass gonna collapse. It's a reason for all that. It ain't just happening because the sun out and it's uh, hot. It's happening because you have too many toxic metals inside of your avatar. 
and you cannot take the potency of the photon light that is coming from the sun okay you got metals all in your head that ain't good you got metals and shit all in your body and in, in your organs that ain't good and all that shit the sun is coming against is burning and destroying everything that's foreign to the template of the organic being the ether of the nine so anything that is foreign to your template has to be destroyed and what is the best purification of destruction it is fire right and what is the sun the sun is gases a ball of fire electricity you know what i'm saying all that you know what i'm saying all that right so it's burning away all the impurities off your avatar and if you can make it good and if you can't you're gonna vacate the avatar it's just that simple it ain't got the sun is doing its job it's supposed to do what it's doing so when you're seeing all them people falling out and collapsing all over the planet and shit they either a not organic or b they got a lot of bad shit in their body and they can't take it i've given y'all so many hints and so many tools you know what i'm saying to you know kind of decalcify your uh, pineal gland and get all them bad toxic metals out of your body you know what I'm saying? But peace begins on your plate. You know what I'm saying? You got to start there. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got a bad diet, you're going to have a bad summer. It's just that simple. If you got a bad diet, you're going to have a bad summer. Come on. We got to go get a package. Let's go. Yeah. So you can start by getting that diet proper. You know what I'm saying? Stop eating animals if you are because you ain't going to make it. <laughs> the sickness of the animals that's within you is going to disrupt your avatar and the sun going to disrupt your avatar as well for eating them animals so either way it go you're gonna have a hard summer you know what i'm saying so do the best you can to be as organic as you can do the best you can to hydrate you know what i'm saying it's important you know what i'm saying and nothing like hydration see i got to the point where i don't drink no type of water you know what i'm saying i'm gonna shit you out to be coconut water or some type of watermelon water or like that or nothing i'd rather be thirsty one and fiction and fantasy is my favorite genre <laughs> there's no difference in any of us except for the fact that some of us are too stupid to realize there's no difference in any of us what happened to us man when did this rise up again i see these guys protesting don't you want to just go up to these white supremacist protesters and just go uh guys uh i i, I got a question uh really <laughs> Do you really think you're the master race? Do you really think you're the supreme beings? Then I got another question. Um, shouldn't you be able to handle a sunny day? Because I believe a supreme being would take power from the thing that keeps everything on the planet alive instead of always having to wear a swim shirt. White supremacy is such an oxymoron. Heavy on the moron, by the way. <laughs> Seriously, really? They, and the guys that claim it, really? Really? Are you the best examples of white supremacy, really? Are they, are they, are, oh my God, are they what the best? In, in a case to prove white supremacy, we would call these guys in as witnesses for the prosecution. <laughs> no, we're not going to ask you a question. Just talk. We'll get it. <laughs> Listen, if you are supreme... Bubba E. Lee Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Maybe you could have studied quantum physics like Katherine Johnson did. Katherine Johnson was the woman that figured out the math, yes. <laughs> to get men to the moon and back. There was a thousand white dudes in NASA, couldn't figure it out. This black lady walked in and went, I wrote this on a napkin. Is this going to work for everybody? <laughs> yes. If, if you were supreme, Grand Wizard Tucker Carlson Hitler? Maybe you could have finished college like Philip Emigali. Philip Emigali is a Nigerian dude, inventor of the world's fastest supercomputer. 3.6 billion calculations per second. Yes, and because of this amazing black man, Bubba, you now get to watch porn on your cell phone during your lunch break at the roofing job. If you were supreme, Sean Ted Nugent Cruz Hannity. Maybe you could walk the world with courage and calm and wouldn't be so scared out of your mind all the time you needed to carry an AR-15 into an Applebee's. 
I don't think a supreme being needs hollow point ammunition to protect his chili fries. <laughs> if you were supreme, Andrew Kyle Rittenhouse, Jim Jordan Jackson, <laughs> maybe instead of trying to overthrow the government, you could just come up with some plans and ideas that would make the people that voted for you the first time vote for you again. <laughs> It's weird, right? The GOP's got a problem right now. All right, guys, we need more minorities to vote for us, but we hate minorities. Ideas? <laughs> if you were supreme, David Duke, James Woods, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Maybe you could be like James E. West, the black man invented this microphone. I'm currently ripping your ass on right now. <laughs> supremacy the people denying global warming can't go outside in it there's gonna be angry bacon sizzling on the beach the oceans finally rise above them oh that feels so much better if you were supreme you could dunk Supreme Brian Kemp, Brett Favre, Kramer. Maybe you could live in a world that didn't threaten your sad belief that you were better than someone of another color. Let's go through history. Every race of people has done it as good as Whitey. Latinos, Asians, Blacks, every single one has done it. I will say this, Whitey did steal their ideas most of the time and make the most profit of it. <laughs> and that's critical race theory. <laughs> people who did it better than whitey science manufacturing technology music <laughs> they all did it while they were being oppressed by one of these hamburger eating insurrection goatee having diabetic strokes waiting to happen so <laughs> to all you white supremacists i'm gonna issue you an invite right now uh how about you put down the weapon take off the tactical vest that doesn't even cover the bottom four inches of your bubble gun <laughs> Get an education, study some science, and then come join the rest of us here on the planet Earth. The planet, by the way, that's only 10% Caucasian. That's got to make you butt pucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I know it feels like 98% Caucasian down at boot scootin' night down at the hoedown holler. <laughs> only 98% because there's always two Guatemalan busboys, goddammit. <laughs> But on the planet, us Alabaster Aryans are barely pushing 10%. How's that feel, Bryce? <laughs> so all you white supremacists, why don't you calm down? Stop thinking like this. Join the rest of us and we can all rise up together. Or you better start impregnating every pasty skank you can and start popping out crackers like the saltine company. <laughs> Personally, I'm going to judge people on who they are, on their integrity, their character, and how they leave a green light. Go! That's the worst weapon for a motherfucker to lie to you. I'd rather be around a murderer, a thief, than a liar. Because with a murderer, I know how he coming. He a killer, I know he gonna kill something. He a drug dealer, I know he gonna sell some drugs. He's religious, I know he's gonna worship God. He's a thief, he gonna steal some shit. But with a liar, you will never know how they coming. Never know how they coming, when they coming, where they coming, or even why they are coming. Can I be for real? Baby, can we talk? Our to oppressors, these human beings, are master better manipulate. Remember, family, how did they take this planet from you? They didn't come take it like no gorillas? Nigga, they didn't hop off the ship like no gangsters. We want this bitch, now let's war. No, they didn't. They came like the cowards they always be in, nigga. They came deceptively. See what I'm saying? Hi, y'all. We come in peace. Can we? Can y'all teach us? 
We love y'all. We worship y'all. We, wow, we never see. Can we learn from you?